here once again from shortmeetina.com doing a video recap for ticker BPMX. Right now what you're looking at is a daily chart dating back to May of 2017. So I've done several videos on BPMX. I'm going to stick with it for as long as I feel the need to stick with it. Uh, and I did a video yesterday and not much has changed, believe it or not, from my views from yesterday. Again, I said that the stock, the stock is relatively decent, right? As long as we can stay above 18 cents, we have a fighting chance. What would look like bullish price action to me, obviously, is we need to drift away from that 18 cents support area and we need to drift more towards 25 cents. If we can break above there and we need to break above there because we've tried to do it most recently, I want to say within the past month, we've tried to do it three times before and each time we have failed, right? So key, key area right now, uh, obviously the most of them all is to hold above 18 cents. But the next kind of pivot spot to me would be to break through that 25 cents area on volume, right? We need to do that. If we can do that and hold, I think at that point, moment, momentum, I always have uh, trouble with that word, will be within the stock and I think that we can hit 40 cents, right? We're perhaps we're a far away from there, right? So I indicated that I am turning slightly bearish, although with caution, I'm, turn I'm turning slightly bearish on BPMX because uh, we have not really made another attempt at that 25 cents area. In fact, for the past couple of days, right, dating back to, let's say, um, April of 2018, or, or rather April 18th of 2018, right, around here, we've done nothing but drift more towards support. And if you've been following my videos for a while, you'll know that my stance is the more level is tested, whether or not it is support or resistance, there is a likelihood that that level will break. So if we keep revisiting 18 cents, 19 cents, chances are we're going to break. And if we break, right, I think you'll have people jumping ship at that point and we can quickly revert back to that 10 cents area, which, by the way, would be a decent area to go long because the stock has actually held uh, 10 cents, I believe, for about a year or two, maybe more. So that's a decent area of support if you want to go long, if you're on the sidelines. Uh, but back to but back to the script at hand. So so that's one thing. The fact that we, so recapping, we've attempted to break 25 cents several times, three times, and we failed all three times. We are more so drifting more towards uh, support. We've tested support most recently, right? Within the past five or six days, we've tested support like 18 cents. That's a lot of times. Granted, uh, we've held up. But the fact that we keep testing it, I think we're going to sub subsequently break. And also to the pops that we've had, meaning once it tests um, that 18 support level and, and bounces, the bounces have been shorter in nature, right? So the bounce here have been pretty high. Tested 18 cents uh, on April 3rd, and then we bounced to 25. That's a high bounce. Whereas if you look uh, most recently here, that 5-4 test of uh, around 18 cents, the bounce was only to 20 cents, a very shorter bounce. So so that's just kind of like a declining trend, right? Highs are getting lower, lower highs. So I think that we're going to break uh, 18 cents. So the, the the save and grace, if you're looking for one, is volume, right? Based on this, I, the volume, the selling pressure has not been intense. So that's good. So that kind of says there's just the folks that are in this are the ones that are kind of... Um, I want to say like ride or dies, they're staying in there, they're not going anywhere. So right now you just need, you know, new folks, right? It could be folks on the bearish end or it can be folks on the bullish end. But right now I think it's going to be stagnated, even though I think we're going to break this, it's not going to be on massive volume, right? Unless we break it in a significant way and then everyone just starts to jump ship. But right now we're kind of in a stagnated um, area and we need someone to dominate a side, whether it be, you know, bulls or whether it be bears. And that's kind of my take on BPMX, All right? So Short Me Tina here from shortmetina.com. Head on over to shortmetina.com, sign up, become a member. Thank you. For <laughs>